friends, Ryan is here and today we're picking up another pinball machine. So this is by far the most remote place I've ever picked up one of these machines. I bought this one off eBay for probably way too much money, but I've been talking to the guy for quite a while. It's one of the, the really old Stern machines that I've been wanting. Um, or that I like. They got these fancy gates right here. So we're there about a stick. I can't reach this lock. They're about three and a half hours from my house and unfortunately Lunchbox and the baby didn't want to come, which is understandable. I left my house about six. It's about 11. So really nice old, I don't know if he's a farmer or if he just bought a house out here, dude. And like his wife and their daughter and grandkids and everybody and his son or son-in-law someone came out to hang out and help it's quite the ordeal i think i sweated more because i was by myself talking to these people than anything lunchbox would have had a ball but anyway it's about two and a half or so miles down this this road and there's a bunch of I don't know if they're ranchers or farmers or what. They're just people that like to live out in the sticks. Which I can't say as I blame them because this would be freaking awesome. He had this nice little... Uh, like man cave that they had. Kids toys and piano and this machine and three or four jukeboxes. And he just sounds like he's a collector and flips stuff on the side on eBay. And, Pretty cool guy. Um, so I guess when we get home, we'll get it out. I thought it had been untouched and unrepaired, but they said they bought it about 10 years ago and it looks like at some time, or at that point, someone had repaired some acid damage on the, the MPU board. And, um, Place the battery with another battery, unfortunately. So it doesn't work, but it's hard to say. He said it's been sitting there for five years. I want to tell him never plug it in again because with the damn solenoid driver board was hanging there on one screw when I got there. So I put it back up and zip tied it so hopefully it survives this friggin' road out of here. So that's unfortunate, but it's a nice machine. If I get it home, we can put it next to Sea Witch and all the other sperms and we'll have a good day. All right, my camera's gonna die, so I forgot to charge it again. Anyway, I better slow down before I get to one of these farms up here and they yell at me for throwing up a bunch of dust. All right, here we go. Here we are, all home. pretty good. There's a little damage up here out of the kicker. And a little right here. Nothing too terrible. Not sure what's going on there. This is dirt from something. That glass looks pretty good. It's got a little cracking here and there. A little wear on that light blue color. Let's go change a diaper. You open it up and we'll take a look at the inside. Well, it all looks pretty good. The displays are okay. The one Looks a little iffy. Or it was this one. I don't know. Oh, the, the board looks great. That one looks fine. Looks like there might be a fuse out. I 
That board looks, yeah, someone's been messing with them. This board has, looks like acid damage that's been repaired actually. Obviously since all the chips are in sockets. Repaired, 22276. Maybe it's, you wouldn't think it would have had to been repaired then. see if we can get it to work and this battery 10-6 I don't know if that's October of 06 or June of 2010 anyway cool machine we'll see what we do with it but I love these old sterns as I'm sure you can tell if you've watched my channel for a while well, let me know what you think, and we'll keep it real. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.